G'day everyone, today I'm about an hour and a half outside of Melbourne in the regional city of Ballarat to visit the Ballarat Tramway Museum. Ballarat had a local tram network that operated from 1887 until 1971. The tram system underwent several developments and changes in its history. So here's a brief overview of the evolution of the Ballarat tram network. Starting with horse-drawn trams in 1887. And these trams provided means of transportation within the city and were an essential part of the local transit system during this era. In 1905, the Ballarat tram network transitioned from horse-drawn trams to electric which marked a significant improvement in efficiency and service. The electric trams were more modern and faster than their horse-drawn predecessors. The tram network was eventually operated by the State Electricity Commission. This transition allowed better integration with the electrical infrastructure in the region. The tram lines in Ballarat ran along several routes, including Sturt Street, Victoria Street, Mount Pleasant, the gardens via Drummond Street North and via Sturt Street West, Sebastopol, Lydiard Street North and View Point. During the 1930s, the Ballarat network reached its peak in terms of route length, extending to approximately 24 kilometres of track. However, like many tram networks in various cities around the world, the Ballarat system faced challenges and eventually declined in popularity. The rise of automobiles and buses led to a decrease in tram ridership. As a result, the Ballarat tram network was gradually phased out and the last tram service ran in 1971. In recent times, remnants of the former tram network in Ballarat had dwindled, leaving only a handful of reminders. However, a dedicated group of volunteers successfully preserved a significant collection of trams and approximately 1.3 kilometres of tram line around Lake Wendouree. And today you can experience one of Australia's most well-maintained museums dedicated to trams. Hello, my name's Ryan. I'm one of the volunteer tram drivers and conductors here at the Ballarat Tramway Museum. Um, I've been involved on the tramway here for 14 years since I was a wee lad. I first started off as a conductor and then once I got my car licence, um, started training as a driver as well. So the museum has been around since the very early 70s uh, when there was an effort by a small group of volunteers to try and preserve part of the original Ballarat electric tramway system. Um, that closed in 1971 and when the tramway did close the, they, were, they were very fortunate enough to have the, the section of track here in the Botanical Gardens preserved and operating and the um, big uh, project of constructing a, a depot to house the trams that they got from the State Electricity Commission began. That's the uh, green building, what we call the old depot over here. And if you fast forward about 50 years we were extremely fortunate to receive a grant to enable us to build the museum building, um, the, the grey building I suppose, which has finally, after 50 years, given us a, a perfect opportunity to, to showcase our tram fleet and the history of trams in Ballarat to the public in a, in a space that's worthy of the important history. The tram that you see behind me is uh, tram number eight in our fleet. It was originally built in the 1930s for the uh, Melbourne tramways as a tr uh, track cleaning tram or a scrubber car as they were called. Um, it has a water tank in between the two cabs uh, which uh, sends out water to clean out dirt from the grooves in the rails. It also has some uh, special blocks that get applied onto the, uh, the, the rail head to clean them of dirt and rust and so on. 
As I said, it was built for use in Melbourne, but it was brought up here to Ballarat and now serves as our track maintenance vehicle as well. And uh, originally it was painted in a sort of black and white colour scheme, but we've decided to paint it in a not necessarily authentic, but nice colour scheme of the green and cream traditionally seen on W-Class trams in Melbourne. So several of the trams in our fleet and uh, most of the trams in our operating fleet um, are original Ballarat electric trams. Well, I say original, but they were, they were all second-hand from other places. But they were all trams that ran for the most of their working lives in Ballarat and some of the other provincial tramway systems around Victoria. One tram that uh, particularly holds a, a dear place in my heart is number 26, which is the um, yellow and gold, uh, sorry, yellow and red coloured tram with the open ends. Um, that body style represents how it was originally built for use in Melbourne and um, the reason why it holds a dear place in my heart is because it's the very first tram I rode on when I came here on my ninth birthday um, and uh, so very fond memories. In fact I bought uh, one of the badges, oh I don't have it on me today. <laughs> Put the cat back on. <laughs> I bought the, one of the enamel badges that um, ha depicts number 26 and I still hold it. I still have it somewhere in my collection. So if people want to come and visit us here, uh, all the information is available online. We have a website as well as a Facebook uh, page which gets updated very regularly. Also there's lots of information about uh, upcoming special events that we hold. We usually try and operate our horse-drawn tram at least once a year and there are special events uh, when there are uh, different anniversaries around. For instance, later on this year we're organising uh, a commemorative event for the centenary of the W-Class trams and we're expecting that to be held in, uh, on the 18th of November. Um, so people who wanted, um, might be interested in that should keep an eye out on our Facebook and, and uh, websites for more information. Now if you are interested in becoming a volunteer and potentially eventually even operating a tram, don't hesitate to reach out to the museum as so they're always looking for new members to help out with all facets of the tramway operations. Additionally, for those eager to delve into the rich history of the trams in Ballarat, there's an excellent book available at the museum, The Golden City and Its Tramways. Now, as for getting to Ballarat, it's approximately a one hour and 30 minute drive from Melbourne by car. Alternatively, you can take advantage of the frequent V-Line train service, disembarking at Wendery Station, which is only a short stroll away. For an even more exciting journey, Steamrail Victoria operates the Eureka Express train to Ballarat regularly, and a visit to this museum would be a perfect way to spend your day. So thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll include the museum details in the description below. And a heartfelt thanks to Ryan and all the other members for inviting me down to showcase this remarkable museum with all of you. Anyway, I'll see you all again soon for another video. Hooroo!